And here they come, the Menor Cardinals. Home game number two of the 2014 season versus the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Twinsburg comes in with a record of no wins on the season, carrying three losses. The Menor Cardinals coming into this game with a perfect 3-0 record after beating Boardman and Spartans in the first game of the season on August the 29th, 48-14. to The exciting game against the St. Ignatius Wildcats where the Cardinals came up victorious 37 to 33 and last week the first home game of the season on this new field turf here at Jerome T. Osborne Stadium. Beautiful night here at the JTO again brand new field turf just installed over the summer here boasting a big Cardinal head spanning 20 yards in the center of the field. Brand new bold Mentor Cardinal end zones as well. Not to mention the drone overhead taking footage that shows up on the big board outside here in the stadium. Getting a very good crowd here on hand tonight. This is Pete Stark, Cardinal TV. You can catch us on Cardinal TV, Mentor, Ohio, YouTube, on Time Warner Cable here in Mentor, Ohio, channel 96.96. And proud to let everybody know you can also stream us live during the game on ESPNCleveland.com. And here we go to begin the game. Student section again, flashing that powder in the air. Cardinals not getting much on their return, going up to about the 30 yard line on the run back. It's going to be a flag on the play. Jarrell Jackson on that run back. As we wait to see what the flag's all about again, the Cardinals coming off of that big victory last week 49 0 over the Euclid Panthers. That victory also marked coach Steve Trivasan was 150th victory of his career. We all know the Cardinals coming off of a big season last year in 2013. They went to the state championship game. Twinsburg Tigers on the other side of the coin had a rough season last year as well. 2-8 and eight on the season. And again, they begin this year 0-3. First play of the game. Senior quarterback, number 10, Jake Floria, looking downfield. He's got a receiver, but he overshoots him, and that ball goes out of bounds. Flag on the play. He was looking for number three, Jarrell Jackson, the senior wide receiver on that pass attempt. So we'll wait to see what the flag's about here. Again, Jake Floria in his first season here on the varsity. Coming right off bat as the starting quarterback for the Cardinals after being on the JV team last year, splitting time between quarterback and wide receiver after transferring over from Lake Catholic. Cardinals gonna be positioned at the 37 yard line, first and 10, 11.47 in the first quarter remaining. It's Jake Floria getting his team set. One receiver. Two receivers on the right side. One going in motion from the left side. That's Alex Matthews in motion. Florio looking down the field. He's got a receiver. Jarrell Jackson's got some running room to the 50. Breaking a couple tackles. Going down on the Tigers side of the field at the 48 yard line. Nice connection on a little dump off pass to Jarrell Jackson. Getting a senior wide receiver. Getting a lot of action in early going. Cardinals with the first and ten, lining up on the Tigers' side of the field. Flory in the shotgun, looking to pass again. He's got a receiver and he overshoots him. Looking for Alex Matthews on the left side of the field. It's going to bring up a second down and ten for the Cardinals. Jarrell Jackson caught one pass last week against Euclid for 13 yards. Getting in the reception column early here in the game this evening. Cards again in that no huddle offense. Flory in the shotgun set. Two receivers on the right side, two on the left. Flanked by a running back. Got a receiver going in motion. That's Eddie Doherty. He's going to hand the ball off to Alex Matthews. Not finding a lot of running room, but going straight ahead before getting stopped by the Tigers. Also number 44 on the other side, taking him down, getting credit for the tackle. That's Daniel Branch. 
It's going to bring up a fourth down and four for the Cards, and they're going to line up in punt formation, going to kick it over to the visiting Tigers. And a kick. It's going to take a Cardinals bounce, but into the end zone. So it's going to go for a touchback for the Twinsburg Tigers, who are going to set up on offense first and ten. No score. Another flag on the play, but no score to this point with 10-29 remaining in the first quarter of play. Student section's got the beach ball going around here. Again, very nice crowd on hand to watch the second home game here at the newly renovated JTO Stadium in Menor, Ohio. That's going to be a penalty on Twinsburg holding on that kickoff, so it's going to bring the Tigers team back closer to their end zone. Cardinals again, last two games against Twinsburg, pitching shutouts. We'd love to have that happen again this evening. Again, this is only the fourth meeting between these two squads. First one happened in 2011. Surprising outcome in that game as well. The Cardinals entering that game undefeated at 9-0, ranked number one in the AP Division I state poll, and rated 22nd by Max, Pre Max Preps. 34th by ESPN at that time, so they had a very good squad and good season going in 2011 at that point. The Twinsburg Tigers came in and ended up topping them at Tiger Stadium, 38 to 35. But the Cardinals again overwhelming the Tigers in the last two matchups, 41 to zip with the last game here in Menor versus Twinsburg. And then last year in 2013, Cardinals playing away at Tiger Stadium in Twinsburg, winning that matchup 49-0. Cardinals getting set on defense here. First and 10 for the Tigers. Going to call it the six-yard line where they're setting up. The Tigers and a short run by Tay Grochi. The junior running back for the Tigers not finding a lot of running room. Quarterback for the Tigers this year is going to be number four, Randy Tucker, senior quarterback. Second and 12, second down and long for the Twinsburg Tigers. Ten minutes going, left to go in the first quarter of play. Twinsburg getting set. He's under pressure, back towards his end zone. The Cardinals look to drop him back. Defense is looking like there may be a fumble on the play. And the Cardinals end up with the ball. It's a turnover. Number 50 for the Cards, big Trevor Morrison. Running to the sideline, boastfully holding that ball in his hand on a turnover. Turnover on the fumble here. 9.50 remaining in the first quarter of play. Cardinals can't ask for any better field position than that. As the offense talks it over on the sideline. Nine fifty remaining in this first quarter. No score. The Menor Cardinals at home versus the Twinsburg Tigers. Men are on their first possession, having to punt the ball over to Twinsburg. And Twinsburg's first possession there, not much going, and turning the ball over, fumbling it over to the Cardinals, who are on the goal line. Jake Floria handing the ball off to number three, Jarrell Jackson, who gets stuffed before being able to cross that plane of the end zone for a touchdown. Stop short, so it's going to be a second down and goal-to-goal -goal situation for the Cards. Getting that no huddle offense, looking to the sideline for the play call. 9.30 remaining in the first quarter of play. No score on the board. Menor and Twinsburg. Jake Flory, the senior quarterback, looking in the end zone, and he's going to overshoot his man, looking for Malik Porter. Well defended by the Tigers defender. And Jake just overthrew him. It's going to be third down and goal to goal from the one-yard line on the Tigers' side of the field. Cards looking to put up a... Touchdown and start the game off strong here with 9.19 remaining in the first quarter of play. 20 seconds remaining on the play clock. Floria getting set. Got two receivers on the right. One on the left is going to hand the ball off to Alex Matthews. Looking to flush it in there. Waiting for the signal by the, by the official. Looks very close to the end zone. They're going to call it just shy. Just shy. It's going to bring up a... 
fourth down and goal to goal situation. You know what the Cardinals are going to do here. They're going to go for it. Fourth down and goal to goal. Under nine minutes to play in the first quarter. Flurry getting set. And he's going to run it in himself. Got some running room. Touchdown, Cardinals! Jake Flurry, the senior quarterback, finding some running room on the quarterback keeper. Scamper to the right of his line in for the end zone for the early score, putting the cards on top. Six to zip. Cards looking to come out for the extra point capper on this one, but they take the early lead following the fumble turnover. Picking up that ball real close to the Tigers end zone and cash it in with the early touchdown score, Jake Floria. The kick fumbled a little bit, but it's up and it's gonna be good. Seven to zero, the Cardinals men are on top versus the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Again, it would appear on paper a bit of a lopsided matchup here. The Cardinals coming in hot as could be with an early 3-0 start on the season. Really a lot of momentum right out of the box. Taking it to the Boardman Spartans at Spartan Stadium on August the 29th. 48 points they put up on Boardman. Only giving up 14. And again, the big grudge match between the Crosstown rivals, St. Ignatius Wildcats. And the Cardinals coming victorious, 37-33 in that matchup. And then last week, the Cardinals coming on top very strong, 49 to zip in their home opener versus the Euclid Panthers. Up early, 8.45 remaining in the first quarter of play versus the visiting Twinsburg Tigers here, JTO. Two out of the three games already this season, too versus Boardman and last week versus Euclid. The new mercy rule came in effect as well. If the team is up by over 30 points going into the second half of play, that second half of play has a running play clock. Game this to speed up the game and that's what the Cards found themselves in last week over the Panthers and really gave the coach Trivisano led Menor squad a chance to put in a lot of underclassmen at the end of the game, get them some good game experience. Okay, the Cards looking to kick off following that Jake Floria quarterback keeper touchdown. Number 22, Tyler Thompson, the senior kicker, getting set to kick the ball back over to the Tigers. Getting the JTO here, big renovations over the summer. This is a multi-use facility shared also by Lake Catholic High School plays their games here usually on Saturday nights. A little hesitation on the run back for the Tigers, not finding much running room. And another fumble, the Cardinals look to pounce on it. About the 15 yard line and the Cards again run it to the sideline with the ball in hand. Clapping the ball and it looked like Dustin Moss, the senior DB, run it to the sideline with the ball. And again, the Cards getting a big turnover from the Tigers getting the gift and they're going to be setting that ball up on the 17 yard line on the tiger side of the field again tremendous field position the defense and the special teams on this occasion setting up the offense 8 35 remaining in the first quarter of play the cardinals already on top of you right on top of twinsburg seven to zip on the early going here in the game after two early turnovers by twinsburg Floria in the shotgun set. He's looking downfield, surveying the territory. Got a receiver in the end zone. In the middle of the field, that's Eddie Doherty, number 40. Getting the touchdown score, putting the cards up. 13 to zip right now with 829. That didn't take much time following that turnover on the kickoff. Cardinals getting that fumble, getting the ball back. Jake Flory not wasting any time. First and 10, finding his man, Eddie Doherty, right in the center of the field, wide open for the touchdown score. Cards again looking to get the one point camper. And they get it 14 points for the home team, Menor Cardinals. Nothing on the board yet for the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. And a very rough start for the visiting team here after fumbling and turning it over to the Cardinals on their first possession on offense, giving the Cardinals excellent field position and the Cardinals cashing in with the quarterback, Jake Florio, rushing for a touchdown to begin the game. And just now, following the Cardinals, kicking off to the Tigers after that touchdown, a fumble, and the Cardinals recovering. 
first play of this drive. Jake Florida finding his man, number 40, Eddie Doherty, right in the middle of the field for the touchdown score. It's hard to believe, but that's actually two touchdowns within 16 seconds. Two touchdowns in 16 seconds following Jake Floria's rushing touchdown to the point they kicked off, recovered the fumble, and got that first down score to Eddie Doherty. The Cards wasted no time putting up big points in the early going. 8.29 left to go in the first quarter play. Mentor Cardinals 14. Twinsburg Tigers being shut out to this point. In the Cardinals, number 22, Tyler Thompson set to kick it over to Twinsburg. With all the momentum in the world to start this game here. Jalen Tucker for the Tigers on the run back. Again, getting stuffed at about the 20 yard line. This time, hell holding on to the ball, no turnovers to the Cardinals defense coming out on the field. Again, as I think I was uh, indicating, this field again, a multi-use stadium. A lot of work done over the summer, and what a fantastic field turf that was put in here. The JTO again, home to the Lake Catholic Cougars, also the JV and freshman teams call this field home as well as the Tigers. Looking to run the ball, he's got some running room. Number 13 shooting through, that's Sean Smith, the junior. Running back for the Tigers, getting the first down, moving those chains. Number seven, Mark Walton on the stop for the Cards. And the Tigers definitely needed that after having a couple turnovers. Cardinals putting up two touchdowns within 16 seconds. 8.05 remaining in the first quarter play, first and 10 for the Tigers. They're gonna hand that ball off straight up the center, but not finding much running room that time. It's going to be Tay Gross for the Tigers on the handoff. D'Angelo Levert, number 27, a junior linebacker for the Cardinals, getting credit for the tackle. It's going to be second down and long for the Twinsburg Tigers. Setting up in their own shotgun set. Three, two receivers on the left. One on the right, and he's got a receiver wide open in the center of the field. That's Joe Leon. Try saying that last name. Number 21 on that reception, the fullback, Joe Leon Dorides for the Tigers. Seven minutes remaining in the first quarter. They're going to say that that was short of the first down, so it's going to be third and short, third and one for the Tigers. Getting set up in that shotgun set. Number four quarterback again is Randy Tucker, the senior signal caller for the Tigers. Five seconds on the play clock. Get close to crunch time to get this off. He may not get it off, just barely did. He's going to fake the handoff. Quarterback keeper brought down big by Trevor Morrison on the sack. Going to stop them well short, bringing them down. Going to force a fourth down situation for the Tigers. Just bringing out their special teams unit to kick it back over to the Cardinals. Eddie Doherty getting set to re receive the punt. 6.25 remaining in the first quarter. Mentor Cardinals up 14-0 over the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. And that's the quarterback, number four, Randy Tucker, who's also going to kick the ball away. Cards got some penetration before that kick got off. And the Cards are going to let it bounce for a second there. Took a Cardinals roll. It's going to get up to about the 23, possibly 24 yard line where the cards are going to begin. First and 10 with 6.05 remaining in this first quarter of play. It's going to be 14 points on the board for the cards in the early going. Nothing as to this point for the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Cardinals next week are going to again be at home. They have four home games in a row to begin this homestand. Last week they face Euclid. This week versus Twinsburg. Next week they're going to be facing the Brush Arcs. 7 p.m. kickoff next Friday night. The week after that against the Shaker Heights Red Raiders. The Cardinals handing the ball off. That's Alex Matthews not finding a whole lot of running room. Stop right near the line of scrimmage. Alex Matthews, the big junior running back for the Cards. 
setting up in the no huddle. 5.45 remaining in the first quarter played. Cardinals bunching up around quarterback Jake Flory before spreading out. Four receivers going to the right, one on the left for the senior signal caller looking at the field. Gets the snap. And he's looking to run the ball. The quarterback keeper, he's got some running room to the 40 before being brought down at about the 43 on the Cardinals side of the field. First and 10, let's do it again. Big run as they spread the offense. The four receivers on the right side, one on the left. The quarterback keeper all the way, and Jake Flory is showing his 4.5, 40-yard dash speed. The senior quarterback for the Cards. Looking downfield to pass this time. First and 10, got a receiver midfield. Dangerous pass, trying to thread the needle to Eddie Doherty. Had him open for a second at the 40-yard line on the Twinsburg Tigers side of the field, but dangerous pass as there was a Twinsburg defender right on his tail. It's gonna be second down and 10 for the Cards. 5-11 remaining in the first quarter play. The Menor Cardinals up 14 to zip over the Twinsburg Tigers. Movement on the defense potentially. Still a lot of time left on the play clock. Jake Flory getting things set. Two receivers on the right, two on the left. Taking the handoff to Alex Matthews. Dangerous pass in the center, but a little bit of running room. Making something out of nothing. Looking like he was going to go down, but we're going to move the chains. He's got the first down. Eddie Doherty for the cards. First and 10, Cardinals on the Tigers' side of the field. Again, Twinsburg coming in, winless on the season. Cardinals coming in, total opposite, have not lost. Jake Flory looking downfield, overshooting his receiver. That's Malik Porter he was looking for, number four. The junior wide receiver had himself a nice game last week against the Euclid Panthers. Malik Porter ended up having five Catches for 42 yards, including a touchdown against Euclid. Jake Floria again, first season as a starting QB for the varsity here. And having a good season to date last week. One of those good weeks, and he's going to have the quarterback keeper. He's running that ball, lowering his shoulder, taking on a defender, getting close to the first down, but he's going to be just short. Jake Flory, he's got the speed, he's got the passing ability, and he showed a bit of his strength over there, too, taking on the Tigers defender. It's going to be third down and short, third and two to go. 4.25 remaining in the first quarter of play. Better Cardinals on top. 14 to zip over the Tigers from Twinsburg. Jake Floria. Taking a look to the sideline here, running short on the play clock. Five seconds remaining to get the snap off. Going to be cutting it close. And just barely got that one off. Jake Flory looking for Jason Blizzard, number two on the sideline. Should have enough for the first down. First and 10, let's do it again to change the moving down the field. Nice connection by number two. Reception, Jason Blizzard, the junior wide receiver on a hookup with Jake Floria. Blizzard with four catches last week versus Euclid for 62 yards. His long being a 36-yard reception. Alex Matthews running wild up to the 20-yard line for the Cardinals. Tough run. 340 remaining in the first quarter. As the Cards getting in that no-huddle offense, getting set for this play. They're going to run it again to Alex Matthews. Matthews getting to about the 16-yard line on the Twinsburg side of the field. And that's going to be enough for a first down for the Cardinals as well. So two back-to-back -back runs for the big running back for the Cards. 44, Alex Matthews. First and 10, we're going to do it again. 325 remaining in the first quarter. Cards with the 14-point advantage and early going. Looking in the end zone. Nearly had his man, but there goes the flag. Wait to see what the officials call on this. Flory had his man open as he was looking in the end zone. Broken up by the Tigers, and they're going to call pass, defeat, pass interference on a defense on that call. 
Going to keep it in first down situation for the Cards. 318 remaining in the quarter. 14 to zip over to visiting Tigers. Cardinals getting set up again in formation, getting bunched right around the quarterback. Spreading out again, gonna give it to Eddie Doherty. Plenty of running and room straight ahead for the touchdown. Second touchdown on the night for Eddie Doherty. The third Cardinals score on the night. 315 remaining in the first quarter play, putting the score to 20 to zip. Men are over to visiting Twinsburg Tigers. That's one through the air, one on the ground for Eddie Doherty in the first quarter of play. Cards looking to cap it, the extra point attempt. The kick is up, Tyler Thompson, and he's going to miss it as it goes and knocks the left side of the goalpost. No good, so the score is going to remain at 20 to, 20 to zip. The men are Cardinals over to visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Three minutes, 15 seconds still remaining here in the first quarter of play. Last week, Jake Floria, 14 to 19 on his passing. It was the first week of the season that he did not eclipse that 200 yard barrier, but he came up just shy at 194 passing yards with two touchdown passes last week. And the Cards having a big beginning to this game this evening versus Twinsburg. Again, this is the fourth meeting all time for these two schools, Menor and Twinsburg. That first one, creating the shocker where the Twinsburg Tigers at home ended up eclipsing the Cardinals. The Cardinals were ranked number one in the AP Division I state poll at that time with a nine and, nine and no loss record at that point when Twinsburg overtook them, but no such luck since then as the Cards taking care of the Tigers pretty handily in the past two matchups. Cardinals getting set to kick. 315 remaining in the first quarter. 22, Tyler Thompson getting set. Line it up, here goes the kick, and he's gonna put it up. Tigers gonna have a chance at the 10 yard line, we're receiving that. Tay Grochi, the junior running back for the Tigers. Cards up, 20 to zip, over to visiting Twinsburg Tigers here. Cardinals leading off the scoring with quarterback Jake Floria running it in on his own for the quarterback keeper on the ground. Putting the cards up, seven to zip, following the extra point. And Eddie Doherty with the last two touchdowns for the Cardinals. First one through the air, second one on the ground. First and 10 for the Tigers. The Cardinals defense again, early going here, but they have thoughts of a shutout again this night. After the last two matchups versus Twinsburg and last week versus the Euclid Panthers. Twinsburg in the shotgun, their quarterback looking downfield. Dangerous pass and nearly picked off by the Cardinals. Dylan French, the intended receiver on the Twinsburg side. Randy Tucker trying an ever so dangerous pass. Kenny Cook, one of the defenders for the Cards, getting in there, breaking that pass up. Second down and long for the Twinsburg Tigers. Second and 10. Quarterback Randy Tucker, number four, the senior signal caller, getting his team set up. He's got three receivers on the right, one on the left. Flank by his running back. He's looking to pass, but puts it down, decides to keep it on the ground himself before being taken down by the Cardinals. A little bit of running room for Randy Tucker, but not a whole lot going. They're going to bring up a third down. J.D. Matsko, the senior linebacker for the Cards, getting in there for the tackle. It's going to be a big third down play for the visiting Twinsburg Tigers, third and four from their own 27 yard line, 230 remaining in the first quarter play. Men are on top, 20 to zip for the visiting Tigers. Randy Tucker calling for looking downfield. Got a receiver wide open, but he overshot number three, Tay Grochi. Going to bring up another situation where they're going to have to punt it to Menor. Eddie Doherty, number 40. Again, two touchdowns already on this early going here. One on the, one on the ground, that most recent touchdown, and the first one was a pass reception that he caught. Eddie Doherty getting set on his own 45-yard line to receive the kick. Two-man 
17 in the game. And the Cards nearly blocking that punt. Calling for a fair catch. Not a whole lot of room to make that catch, but it's going to be right around the 46 yard line on the card side of the field. On the season, the Cardinals leading rusher Alex Matthews, 31 attempts for 250 yards on the season. Followed second by Eddie Doherty coming into this game with 150 rushing yards. Jake Flory again, first year as a full-time quarterback for the Menlo Cardinals varsity squad. Coming in with a pretty good passer ratio, 181, 48 completions and 70 attempts. Coming into this game, number three, Jarrell Jackson with some running room, showing a burst, not going down, refusing to be brought, running all the way from the 40 to inside the 30-yard line on the Tigers' side of the field. Plowing his way through that Tigers defense. Number three, Jarrell Jackson. He's going out to the left to spread out as a wide receiver on this occasion, but showing his speed on that burst, keeping his chains moving. First and 10 for the cards. Alex Matthews running straight up the gut, not finding a lot of room on first down for the cards. But that was a big burst by Jarrell Jackson on an exciting run. Coming inside, two minutes here in the first quarter of play. Second down and six for the Cards with the 20 point advantage over the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Jake Floria getting set, two receivers on his left, two flanked on his right. Alex Matthews, a quick little fake. Floria looking downfield, got a receiver open and he... They're gonna call it touchdown for the Cardinals. What a catch! Waiting for the signal by the official. Showing, showing some skills on that catch. Malik Porter, the junior wide receiver for the Cards. Floria looking deep downfield, finding his connection through the air. Malik Porter on the score for the Cards, pushing the lead up to 26 points. Tyler Thompson looking to add one more on. He missed his last extra point attempt. Hitting the left crossbar. It's going to be up and it's good, so that's going to push the Cardinals' advantage to 27 to zip. After and 123 remaining in the first quarter of play, the Cardinals coming up big here, pushing far ahead of the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Jake Floria looking deep on that pass connection to his man, Malik Porter, the big six foot two, 185 receiver, the junior standout. An amazing stat here from our statistician, Mr. Pat Lieber. Menor has scored the last 90 points in a row against Twinsburg. Two straight shutouts coming into this game. Tacking on the points that they've got here today. 124 straight points versus this, versus this Twinsburg squad. Take it back, 117 points in a row versus the Twinsburg Tigers, but pretty amazing to think of. Following that first game versus these two schools, Twinsburg coming up on top and shocking the Cardinals, and the Cardinals have not let up. They're not letting that stench go away from losing to Twinsburg in that first matchup between these two squads. Last two meetings, again, beating them in 2012 in the JTO right here, 41 to zip. Last year, Twinsburg Tiger Stadium besting it 49 as if they beat Twinsburg. And then this year, quite a big deficit. Still a minute 17 remaining in the first quarter of play. The Cardinals up 27 to zip over this Tiger squad. He's got to be shocked. Really feeling all the momentum on the Cardinals side of the field at this point of the game. Cardinals shutting them down on defense too. Stuffing that run. Number three, Tay Grochi on the run. The junior running back for the Tigers. Coming up on inside a minute to play in this first quarter of play. And I'm sure the Tigers will be glad to get this quarter number one out of the out of the books. Try their luck in the second quarter of play here as the clock's winding down inside a minute. Tigers getting set, second and nine. 
Randy Tucker to QB for the Tigers. Inside 10 seconds on the play clock. Two receivers on the left, receiver in motion. They're gonna hand that off to that receiver who was in motion, got a little bit of running room. Moving straight ahead, that's Sean Smith with a burst all the way to the Cardinals side of the field, close to the 35 yard line. Tigers finding finally some positive yards and something to hang their hat on possibly as we get to the tail end of the first quarter of play here. Being overcome by a 27 point deficit right now. So they got quite a bit of work to do if they want to get back in this ball game. 25 seconds remaining. First and 10 for the Twinsburg Tigers. Randy Tucker, number four, the Tigers quarterback, looking to the sideline for the play call. Again, they're running that spread offense as well. Lining up in the shotgun, one receiver on the left, two on the right. And the officials are blowing the whistle here. To the student section getting the tomahawk chalk, chop going here to cheer on their defensive squad. Again, pitching that shutout last week versus the Euclid Panthers. And have not given up any points to this point versus the visiting Twinsburg Tigers here tonight. And the officials pointing to the time on the scoreboard, looking like they may tack on a few more seconds here to go. Currently showing eight seconds remaining in the first quarter. Menor with the 27 point lead over the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. And it's gonna wind on down to the end of the first quarter. But what a first quarter it was for the Menor Cardinals. Cardinals getting set up to defend the Panthers, or the Tigers here, who finally found a positive play with a big run. But they've got a first to 10 situation as we begin the second quarter of play. The Cardinals up 27 to zip. Twinsburg, again being led by their quarterback, Randy Tucker. Two receivers on the right. The first one goes in motion. It's Noah Edwards. Quarterback finding his man in the center of the field. It's number 13, Sean Smith. Moving the ball straight ahead, close to the 25 yard line. Gonna be the 27 yard line on the Cardinal side of the field. Gonna bring up a second down for the second and third for the Twinsburg Tigers. 11 and a half minutes remaining in the first half of play. The big advantage for the Menor Cardinals, 27 to zip over the Twinsburg Tigers. Randy Tucker at the QB. He's gonna fake the handoff, gonna keep it on a quarterback keeper, but that was no surprise for the Menor Cardinals as they stuffed that run. Gonna force a third down for the Twinsburg Tigers. Just getting the first quarter stats here in the books. Cardinals with the big advantage with first downs, nine first downs in that first quarter of play versus just two for the Tigers. 80 yards on the ground rushing for the Menor Cardinals in that first quarter play to 61 for the Twinsburg Tigers. As the cards get set up on his third down play. Quarterback's gonna hand the ball off. Stopped by the Cardinals. He'd be lucky if he got back up to the line of scrimmage on that run. Ball's probably gonna be positioned at about the 28 yard line on the Cardinals side of the field. It's gonna bring up a fourth down for Twinsburg and it looks like the Offense is going to remain on the field. They're going to go for this. What do they got to lose at this point? Being down 27 points on the road. Again, some first quarter stats. The Cardinals, 158 yards through the air, passing for the Jake Floria led offense. Only 68 yards in the air for Twinsburg. Again, two big turnovers in that first quarter that put the cards in great field position on both counts. Cardinals gonna force the turnover on downs as they had nothing but pressure on Randy Tucker. Forcing him to make an ill-advised pass that went out of bounds. He's gonna turn it over to the Cards with 10 minutes remaining in the first half of play. 27 point advantage for the home team. Men are up 27 to zip over the Twinsburg Tigers. Cardinals looking to re remain perfect and undefeated on the season. Coming into the game 3-0. Twinsburg on the other side of the coin, coming in winless. Cards getting set up. Floria gonna give it to Eddie Doherty. 
Little bit of running room. Eddie Doherty pushing straight ahead, looking to get a first down on the first and 10. Going to bring out another one here, moving those chains. Or close to it, if not. Nice run for Eddie Doherty to begin the first offensive play in the second quarter for the Cards. 9.44 remaining in the second quarter of play. That's going to be a second down and short. And they are going to move the chains. First and 10 for the Cards. Cardinals first and 10, gonna hand the ball off again. Forcing his way through for another first down, straight up the middle, 44, Alex Matthews for the Cards. Getting over to the Tigers' side of the field. And the Cards keeping it on the ground here in the early going in the second quarter of play. Nine and a half minutes remaining in the first half. The Cards with a huge advantage. Look intent to maybe keep it on the ground. Jake Flory at the QB spot. He's going to fake it, and he's going to have some running room. He's going to keep it. The quarterback keeper moving to 45 to the 40, running out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Jake Flory is showing his wheels, keeping those chains moving once again. That's three first downs in a row for the Cards. 9-10 remaining in the half. And Jake Flory, a no huddle offense, showing those wheels, showing his skills in the air and on the ground. Going to put it in the air this time. Got a receiver in the middle of the field. That's going to be an INT turning the ball over. He was looking for number two, Jason Blizzard. Threw that ball short. Number nine, that's Noah Edwards, the senior DB for Twinsburg on the INT. And that's going to be the second interception on the season for Jake Florio. First turnover of this game for the Cardinals. With 9.01 remaining in the first half of play, the Cards still with that big advantage, but now after driving the ball, find themselves back on defense. See if Twinsburg could find some momentum off of that. Giving the ball to number three, Tay Grochi, the junior running back for the Tigers. Second and five gonna be coming up for the Twinsburg Tigers, 8.48 remaining. Get going with the no huddle offense for the Tigers. Quarterback Randy Tucker looking to the sideline for the play call. Two receivers on the right, two on the left. Flanked by the running back. Got a receiver in motion. He's going to hand it off to that receiver. And another fumble, possibly. Jumped on by the Tigers, it looked like. It looks like it's going to remain Twinsburg ball just inside the 40 yard line, short of the first down. It's going to bring up a third down and short for Twinsburg. We're going to call it third and two as we approach eight minutes remaining in the first half of play. Menner with the big advantage. 27 to zip on their home field versus the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. In the first quarter of play, Eddie Doherty with two receptions totaling 30 yards, one of those being a touchdown. And Malik Porter, just the one catch, and that one catch was a big one, 26 yards for a touchdown score. The Tigers handing the ball off to number three again. Take Grochi, moving the chains, getting the first down for the Tigers. 7.40 remaining in the first half of play. Ball's gonna be spotted about the 41 yard line on the Tigers' side of the ball. Cards gotta be thinking in the back of their minds about keeping this shutout streak going versus Twinsburg number one, but also number two. They've got five quarters in a row without giving up a point after not giving up any points versus Euclid last week. A nice read by the Cardinal defense. Read that little screen pass all the way, dropping them short of the line of scrimmage. Brendan Parker getting credit for the tackle on that one. It's gonna bring up a second down and long situation for the Twinsburg Tigers, second and 11. 6.45 remaining in the first half of play. Big advantage for the Cards, 27 to zip over the Tigers. Randy Tucker 
QB for the Tigers looking to the sideline for the call. And it looks like they're going to call a timeout. A little bit of confusion on that play. Timeout charge to the Twinsburg Tigers. Also this week in the Northeast Ohio Conference, the Valley Division that both of these teams are in. We got the 3-0 Solon Comets going against Strongsville, who's also undefeated at this point. And two more undefeated teams in the conference. Brunswick taking on the Hudson Explorers. Going to be some big matchups as the season goes on as Colonel's going to be facing Brunswick, Solon, and Hudson, and Strongsville in the last four games of the season. All four of those teams currently undefeated going into this evening, so you know they're going to have tough competition in, in games for the Cards. So the last four games of the season finds the Cardinals going to be on the road versus Brunswick. Coming back home here for the Solon Comets, going on the road for the Hudson Explorers, and in the last home game of the season on Halloween night, Friday, October the 31st versus the Strongsville Mustangs. Second down and 11 for the Twinsburg Tigers getting set up here for their offensive play. Randy Tucker facing it to the receiver he had in motion. Gonna overshoot his receiver there, number three. Gonna bring about a third down and long situation. Third and 11 for the Tigers. 6.29 remaining in the half. Cards hoping to get a big stop here on third down. the stats from the first quarter on the Twinsburg side. Their leading rusher, Sean Smith, for two rushes for 60 yards. Really one of the only Tigers who's had positive offensive success here against the Cardinal defense here. Third and long for the Tigers. Again, Tucker's going to overshoot his receiver, and that's going to bring up fourth down and long for Twinsburg, who's going to have to punt that ball back over to the cards. And Eddie Doherty getting set to receive from the Cardinal side of the field. Setting up right now at the 30 yard line. 6.25 remaining in the game. The Cardinals with a big advantage, 27 to zip over the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Eddie Doherty already with two touchdowns on the night. One on the air, one on the ground as the Cards again getting good penetration. When the Tigers go to kick the ball, gonna be a fair catch for Eddie Doherty. The 34 yard line for the Cards. Again, that's the quarterback slash punter doing double duty here tonight. Randy Tucker, the senior for the Twinsburg Tigers, seeing a lot of action here in the first half of play. Six minutes, 20 seconds again remaining in the first half. Cardinals with the big lead. The newly renovated Jerome T. Osborne Stadium here in Menor, Ohio. 27 to zip over Twinsburg. Jake Flory, the senior quarterback, leading his troops back out on the field. Spread offense, shotgun formation. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Floria looking to pass the ball. Got his receiver, Alex Matthews. Going to be about an eight-yard gain on the reception. Nice catch for the junior running back slash receiver. Cardinals in that no huddle offense. Getting set for the play. Floria getting set. Two receivers to the left, two receivers on the right. One running back spreading out, Gerald Jackson, but he's looking downfield, Malik Porter grabbing that, coming up in the center of the field, and again refusing to go down, but finally being taken down to the 35-yard line, but this time on the Tigers' side of the field, keeping those chains moving. First and 10, let's do it again for the Cards, who appear to be on the move. 6.05 remaining in the first half of play, Cards 27 to zip over to visiting Twinsburg Tigers, Jake Floria. Gonna hand that ball off this time. Alex Matthews running straight up the gut. The 20, the 15, the 10, the five. Touchdown, he's gone, another touchdown. Cardinals. Alex Matthews, number 44, the big man. Pushing on through for the Cardinals score. Bringing the score up to 33 to zip over to visiting Twinsburg Tigers. The Cards, Tyler Thompson coming out to hopefully tack on the extra point. 554 remaining in the half. And the Cards again eclipsing that 30-point spread. 33-point spread as we currently stand. Looking to add one more on. The kick is up. And that's going to be good as well. 34 to nothing. The Cardinals marching ahead to the big lead. 5.54 remaining in the half. The mercy rule if the second half of play would come in 
come in motion is going to be in effect where the play clock is going to keep running. Again, the only thing that's going to stop that clock from running is if the opposing team would end up bridging the gap and getting the score to somewhere under a 30-point deficit. Also, if there's a timeout, the clock would stop. If there's a change of possession, the clock would stop. And if it's an end of period, other than that, the clock will remain running. That's a new rule this year in 2014 by the OHSAA. But the Cardinals, again, just overwhelming this visiting squad by Twinsburg, who's coming in already licking their wounds with an 0-3 record on the season. They're really going to be fighting for answers after this first half of play here. Still just under six minutes remaining to play in the first half. 34 points already on the board for the Cardinals. No points for the Tigers. Following the big rushing touchdown by number 44, Alex Matthews for the Cards. Senior kicker Tyler Thompson getting set to again get the ball back to the Twinsburg side of the field. Kicking it up. It's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. The number three of the Tigers being brought down at the 25 yard line. That's Tay Grochi for the Tigers. 5.47 remaining in the first half of play. The Cards coming out on the defensive side of the equation with the big lead 34 to zip. Trying to keep the pressure on. Keeping the foot on the throttle on the defensive side, just like the offense is doing. Again, a couple big turnovers in the first quarter, really getting things started. Cardinals on the defensive side getting the early fumble. Jake Florio rushing it in quickly, following that for the first touchdown of the game is the Twinsburg Tigers right here on first and 10, getting stuffed by the Cardinal defense. Sean Smith, who's the one Tiger who's had a bit of rushing success this evening, getting stuffed on that rushing attempt. 5.27 remaining in the first half of play. Cardinals again coming up strong on all sides of the page this evening. Special teams, offense, and defense. Dangerous pass by the Tigers. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the attempt for Christian Strozier by the quarterback Randy Tucker. Going to bring up a third down and 11 situation for the Tigers. Again, early in the game, the Cardinals defense coming up big with a, a fumble and Jake Flory, the quarterback, on a keeper for that first score of the game. And following that, the Cardinals kicking the ball off to the Tigers, recovered a fumble on that kickoff. And the next play after that, um, Jake Flory looking downfield and finding his man, Eddie Doherty, for a touchdown score. So two touchdowns in 16 seconds really got the scoring going and set the tone for the night. Another incomplete pass, going to be a fourth down and 11 situation. With the Tigers being as deep as they are on their side of the field, they're going to have to punt that ball and kick it back over to this Cardinal offense. 5.03 remaining, still a ton of time left in the first half of play. The Cards with the big, big, big advantage, 34 to zip. Been looking in the stands, a big crowd on hand again tonight for the Metro Cardinals. Randy Tucker again the QB splitting duty and every time the cards keep getting closer and closer to blocking those kicks a couple spin moves put out by the Cardinals on the return Eddie Doherty showing some skills there bringing the ball on the Twinsburg side of the field showing a nifty spin move freeing himself up a little bit for some added yards 453 remaining in the first half of play Big night already for the Cards here. Second home game of the season. Trying to better that victory they had last week. They eclipsed the Euclid Panthers by 49 points. Cards getting set up, first and 10. Two receivers on the left side. Three on the right. Jake Florio looking to pass. Got a man open. Alex Matthews, the 40 to 35. Coming close to the 30 yard line, taking on Tiger defenders. Keeping those chains moving, first and 10, we're gonna do it again. 4.45 remaining in the first half of play to Menor Cardinals, 34 to zip over to visiting Twinsburg Tigers here. Just Cardinals having their way with this defense. 
Alex Matthews on the ground and through the air, showing some versatility tonight. Jake Floria faking the pass, got some running room up the middle, the middle of the 25 to 20 to 15. The 10 still going to five and tiptoes out of bounds. He wanted that one, just lost his footing. His momentum took him out of bounds. Faking that pass and tucking it in for the quarterback keeper straight ahead for the big run inside the red zone. First down and goal to goal from the seven yard line on the Tiger side of the field. 433 remaining in the first half of play. Jake Flory with the big quarterback run. Showing his sprinter speed. Four or five 40 yard dash as he hands it off to Eddie Doherty moving straight ahead. Coming up shy of the goal line, but moving that ball. It'll be second down and goal to goal inside the five yard line. Really, so many weapons on this Cardinal offense. You got quarterback Jake Floria, who's a dual threat. He could pass the ball. He's really got a good arm and really showing some versatility with his passes. He can run it and he can pass. And handing the ball off to Jarrell Jackson, number three, nearly taken down, staying on his feet. Oh, nearly found his way into the end zone. <clears throat> Breaking that initial tackle, showing some power, moving ahead, <clears throat> nearly got a touchdown for the Cardinals. 3.43 remaining in the half. Another one, another one of their tough skill position players, Jer Jarrell Jackson, number three, but also cards can beat you in so many different ways. We haven't really called Jason Blizzard's name too much tonight, number two, but we got number four, Malik Porter, Jason Blizzard. Alex Matthews, Eddie Doherty. So many ways the cards could go on offense. Alex Matthews getting the ball. Plowing ahead. And they're gonna call it a touchdown. The Cardinals getting on the board again, again. Alex Matthews getting into the end zone for the score. Number 44 on the score. Alex Matthews, the junior running back for the cards. Just tacking on more points at this point. 40 points already for the Cards with 3.13 remaining in the first half of play. Tyler Thompson stepping on the field to again add an extra point. Cardinals already missed one extra point tonight. Hoping to get this one and it's gonna be good. Gonna push the score up to 41 points for the Menor Cardinals. Zero points for the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. 3.13 remaining in the first half of play. Big scoring night for the Cardinals already. Overwhelming the Tigers visiting from Twinsburg here. Running into a buzzsaw versus the Cardinals tonight. Tigers really only showing success on a couple rushing attempts. Other than that, it's been all Cardinals this evening. On special teams, on offense and defense, the Cards really <clears throat> showing what they could do on all facets of the game. Tyler Thompson, the senior kicker, getting set to again kick it off here following a touchdown score. 3-13 for, for the Cardinals and Tigers here in the first half of play. Cardinals up 41 points. And this time it's going to be number 13, Kyle Ubrick, the sophomore kicker for the Cards, getting set to kick off. The cards with a big advantage. Going to probably already start putting some underclassmen in. Get some more playing time to spread around the team. Nice kick. Going to catch it at the five yard line. It's number three for Twinsburg. Tay Grochi just getting barely past the 15 yard line on the Tigers side of the field. And a nice kick off there by Kyle Ubrick. The sophomore kicker for the Cardinals. 3.06 remaining in the first half of play. The Cards 41 to zip over the Tigers. Big advantage here to Card, just want to keep it going. Keep extending the winning streak here in the early going of the season. Three victories already in three attempts. Last week, an exciting victory for the Cards. Big win over the Euclid Panthers, and that was Coach Trevisano's 150th victory of his stellar career in his alma mater, Menor High School. Short gain for Twinsburg. Pete Kunka on a stop, the defensive end, the senior for the Cards on a tackle. Inside three minutes to play in the first half. Cards getting set to defend a second down and seven versus Twinsburg. 
Randy Tucker, the signal caller for the Tigers. Got two receivers on the right, one on the left. Flank with two in the backfield, faking the run. Had the pass batted down by number 54, Nico Lottinen, the senior defense lineman. Really having a big season here in the early going. Coming up big in every one of the Cardinals games on defense. The big man, Nico Lottinen. 2.26 remaining in the first half of play, third and seven for Twinsburg. Again, the Cardinals having a ton of success in the early going of the season, rated number one in the News Herald top of the crop. And Cleveland.com has them ranked third in the area behind St. Edwards and Hudson. Going to be another fumble. Cardinals getting in there, but they're going to end up with the ball in the hands of number four, Randy Tucker, who got brought down inside the 10-yard line on the Tigers' side of the field. Going to be a fourth down and very long for the Tigers. And again, they're going to have to punt the ball back over to Menor, who's going to once again end up with great field position. Eddie Doherty lining up at the 40-yard line on the Tigers' side of the field to receive this kick. Inside two minutes of play in the first half, Menor up 41 to zip or to visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Again, number for Randy Tucker to QB, punting the ball away. The cards, 40 to 30 to 25, Eddie Doherty, the 15, and he's gonna go down, and he wanted to get that special teams TD tonight. Eddie Doherty on that thrilling run after that punt, but there's a flag, and it's gonna be a hold on the Cardinals. It's gonna bring it back some here. A minute 35 remaining in the first half of play, but an exciting run getting the crowd going here and a night filled with a ton of excitement. It's going to be holding on the card, so we're going to back it up. The fish is looking to spot the ball. Minute 35 here versus the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. The Cardinals up with the large lead, 41 to zip. The ball back in their hands again, looking to score here before the first half clock winds down. And we're going to be looking at a running clock in the second half of play with the over 30 point deficit. But the mercy rule is going to be in full effect. Cardinals getting set. Spread offense. Jake Flory from the shotgun. Two receivers on the right, two on the left. Looking to pass. Got a receiver in the middle of the field wide open. That's Malik Porter going up to the 39 again. Putting some pressure on the defense, showing some toughness, hard to go down. Malik Porter moving those chains, first and 10. Let's do it again for the Cards. Minute 27 remaining in the first half of play. 41 to zip, the Cards with the big lead and looking to move again. Jake Floria got four receivers on the right side, one on the left. Found his man, Alex Matthews, on a short reception for, call it two yards, gonna bring up a second down and long as we approach a minute 10 remaining in the first half of play. Cardinals looking to extend that 41 point advantage that they currently enjoy. This time they got four receivers on the left side, one receiver on the right. Floria looking to pass the ball, looking to the top side of the field. Got a receiver well defended, putting his arm up. We got his right hand on the ball, but coming up shy on that incompletion. That was Eddie Doherty, the intended receiver, the only receiver lined up on that right side of the field. Just outside the goal line was that pass, but he overshot his receiver. 56.2 seconds remaining in the first half of play. An overwhelming first half by the Cardinals. On the defense, the offense, and special teams, really all around game for the Cards here. Coach Trevisano going for victory, 151 in his legendary career. Two receivers on the left side, one on the right. Flory with the two running backs. He's gonna hand the ball off with some running room. The 30 to 25, Eddie Doherty, the 15 being taken down, exciting run, moving the chains. Nearly busted it straight up the gut for a, another Cardinal touchdown, but again, Moving those chains first and 10, we're gonna do it again. 48.3 seconds remaining in the first half of play. Jake Floria getting the offense set. One receiver on his left side, that's Malik Porter. Three on the right side. Alex Matthews also going out wide open in the end zone, number two. Jason Blizzard on the touchdown score, getting in the scoring column. Jake Floria finding his man, Jason Blizzard, the junior wide receiver. On the receiving end of that touchdown, pushing the score up to 47 points for the Cards. P 
pitch in the shutout. No points for the Twinsburg Tigers. Looking to make it 48 points is Tyler Thompson again coming out to try to get the capper here with the extra point. 39 seconds remaining in the first half of play. It's up and it's good. And again, 48 points for your home team, Mentor Cardinals over to visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Only one point less than what they ended up scoring against the Euclid Panthers last week as they beat Euclid 49 to zip here at the JTO. Second home game of the season for the Cardinals. They're really enjoying the home cooking here at the JTO with the home crowd coming alive here. Turnovers in the early going, really getting this momentum turning, lopsided in the direction of the Cardinals, and the Cardinals haven't let off the gas here in the first half of play. 48 points they put on the board. Nothing for the Twinsburg Tigers. 39 seconds still remaining here as the Cardinals get set to kick off to Twinsburg. The Associated Press poll finds the Cardinals rated third at this point, Cincinnati Moeller, who beat the Cardinals in the Division I championship game last season, is rated number one. St. Edward out of Lakewood, Ohio, rated number two in the state. And Mentor Cardinals rated third at this point. So again, the Cardinals, one of the top teams, not only in our area here, but in the state as well. So showing what they're, what they're made of and why they're rated so high, what they're showing and early going here tonight at home. Number 13 for the Cards getting set to kick off. That's going to be Kyle Ubrick switching to kicking duties a little bit here in the first half already. Coach Trevisano getting some substitutions in there, giving Tyler Thompson a break. And that ball's going to end up going out of bounds. Going to bring on a first and 10 situation for the Twinsburg Tigers. Again, really the only guy for the Twinsburg Tigers that's been Realizing any success has been number 13, Sean Smith, who ended up having 60 rushing yards in that first quarter of play. But really since then, not much going at all for the Twinsburg offense here. First and 10 as they get set up. Again, they're running that spread offense. No huddle formation from the shotgun. Quarterback Randy Tucker got his one receiver on the left side of the field, two on the right. Joined by two running backs here in the backfield. He's going to hand that ball off for just about two, possibly three yards, moving straight ahead as the play clock running down. The game clock, 30 seconds in the first half of play. Maybe content to just let this clock run on down at this point. It's number four, Randy Tucker looking to the sideline. The cards with the big, big advantage. 48 to zip. 15 seconds remaining in the first half of play. 10 seconds coming here. We're going to see if they get one more play in the first half or not. Five seconds, and they do get one more play off, and they're going to hand the ball, and it's going to be stuffed by the cards. Again, not much room going for the Twinsburg Tigers, and we're going to go into the half with the big advantage for the Mentor Cardinals here. Game number two at home. 48 points already on the board, and it's only the first half coming to an end for the Cardinals. No points for the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Look forward to another exciting second half of play. We are gonna have the mercy rule in effect because the Cards have over a 30 point advantage at this juncture, but Cardinals coming to this game undefeated 3-0. Looking to extend that win streak to four games to begin the uh, 2014 season here. Good first half, and look to have a good second half. Enjoy the halftime show and we'll be back. Pete Stark, Cardinal TV.
scoring summary in the first first half of this game here. Quite a whirlwind again with the Cardinals, 48 points. 27 of those in the first quarter alone. Again, the first first thing that really started the, the ball rolling in the Cardinals' direction was a big fumble recovery by the defense. Followed shortly after that by Jake Flory at a quarterback on a quarterback keeper for a one-yard touchdown run. Then the Cardinals kicking off following that touchdown ended up recovering a fumble by the Tigers. And then on that very next play, Jake Floria found Eddie Doherty for a 17-yard touchdown pass. Then also in the first quarter play, Eddie Doherty ran for a nine-yard touchdown and Jake Floria passing to Malik Porter for a 26-yard touchdown. So again, 27 points in that first quarter alone as the Cardinals kicking off here to start the second half of play. Number three on a reception there. Take Rochi for the Twinsburg Tigers, bringing it up to just shy of the 25 yard line for Twinsburg inside 12 minutes here 11.55 remaining in the third quarter of play as we get ready to start with Twinsburg leading the charge on offense here in the second half facing a 48 point deficit again to recap the Cardinals scoring in the first half in the second quarter Alex Matthews getting in the mix with a 35 yard touchdown run then also right after that with 3.13 remaining in the half, Alex Matthews running for a one-yard touchdown run. And then finally, the capper for the scoring and for the Cardinals in the first half, Jake Floria passing to Jason Blizzard for a 14-yard touchdown. So the Cardinals amassing 21 points in that second quarter, 48 points in the first half of play. As Twinsburg getting set here, 11-18 remaining in the third quarter. Second down and six. Quarterback Randy Tucker for the, the Tigers going to keep it running. Actually, that was a handoff there to the running back. Noah Edwards, the senior running back for the Twinsburg Tigers, going to bring up a third down and four. Big key third down to start this first off offensive possession in the second half for Twinsburg. Similar offense being run here by Twinsburg with the spread. Two receivers on the right side, three on the left for the quarterback, Randy Tucker. And they're going to take him down by a host of Cardinal defenders, bringing it back to the 20-yard line for the big loss on the sack. Randy Tucker holding on to the ball a little bit too long, being taken down, led by 54, Nico Lottinen on the tackle there. 10-20 remaining in his third quarter play. Again, the mercy rule in full effect again this week for the Cardinals. This is three out of the first four weeks for Menor inflicting the mercy rule on their competition. If a team is up by over 30 points going into the second half of play and the Cardinals again getting oh so close to blocking a kick by Twinsburg. Fair catch by Eddie Doherty at the 37 yard line, let's call it on the Cardinal side of the field. Again, pretty good field position for the Cardinals here inside 10 minutes to play in the third quarter but with the mercy rule Cardinals up by over 30 points here in the second half of play this time clock for the game is going to continue to run unless a few things occur that would be if the competition in this case Twinsburg would bridge the gap and have that lead be less than 30 points or if there's a timeout change of possession or end of a quarter those are the only scenarios Jarrell Jackson on the run for the Cardinals. That's a senior wide receiver slash running back. Pushing ahead, close to the 45 yard line on the Cardinal side of the field. And the cards again, shuffling some of the, some, some of the players into the game, getting some playing time for some non-starters at this point. Jarrell Jackson, number three on the handoff. Getting back up to the 45 yard line, not seeing a whole lot of running room on that play. Gonna bring up a third down and five. Number six, Manning Trubisky in at quarterback, the sophomore signal caller in there for the Cardinals. Also got some playing time last week at home versus Euclid. Clock running down, 8.55 and ticking away. 48 point lead here for the Menor Cardinals over to Twinsburg Tigers. Manning Trubisky looking, he's got a receiver just shy of midfield, but it's gonna be shy of the first down marker. 
Malik Porter, the junior receiver for the Cardinals, not getting the first down, but a nice reception. But the Cardinals are going to have to kick the ball back over to the Twinsburg Tigers, and it looks like that's going to be number nine, Mark Edwards, who's going to be kicking his time on the punt for the Cardinals. 8.20 and counting in a third quarter of play. 48-point deficit here for Twinsburg. Pretty big task to start coming back from a big deficit and nearly a block by Twinsburg on that punt attempt. They're going to fair catch it at about the 24-yard line on their own side of the field. Again, nothing but scoring on the men's side of the column in that first half of play. 48 points, 27 in that first quarter, 21 in the second quarter of play. Twinsburg looking to go on the road again next week. They're going to be playing at Garfield Heights while the Mentor Cardinals next week are going to be at home versus the Brush Arcs, who are 1-2 and two going into this week of, of play. They're playing Mayfield at home this evening. 7.45 remaining in the third quarter of play. The Tigers running straight ahead for about four yards. Take Grochi for the Tigers, the junior running back. Going to be second down and about seven yards for the Tigers. Cardinals again held, holding the shutout on the defensive side of the ball. Nice little run by the Tigers getting straight ahead for a first down at Sean Smith. Again, he's the one guy in the first half in the first quarter specifically had 60 yards rushing on a couple big running plays and a, a nice run to move the chains for the Tigers on that play as well. Seven minutes remaining in the third quarter play. The Mentor Cardinals here at home. Jerome T. Osborne Stadium, newly renovated over the summer. This field turf looking fantastic out here. Big Cardinal head in the center of the field, stretching 20 yards. As the Tigers broken up on defense, number 30, that's Adam Williams getting in there, making a nice defensive play, breaking up that pass intention by the Tigers. Adam Williams there, the senior linebacker for the Cardinals, getting in there. Second down and 10 for the Tigers. From the shotgun set, Randy Tucker. Two receivers on the right, three on the left. Looking to keep it himself, run up the middle to the 40, to the 45, getting up to midfield at the 50. Nice run straight ahead for Randy Tucker. Again, that clock keeps ticking, ticking away with the mercy rule in effect. Six minutes remaining in the third quarter of play. This quarter's moving quick. Started out with 12 minutes, and in the blink of an eye, we're halfway through. And after that nice play by the quarterback, Randy Tucker on that run, there's a good penalty flag, and they're backing up the Twinsburg offense, going all the way back to the 35-yard line on their own side of the field. Personal foul. Five and a half minutes remaining in the, or in the third quarter of play. 48 points on the board for the Menor Cardinals. Nothing at this point for Twinsburg Tigers. Last week, the Cardinals pitching that shutout. 49 to zip over to visiting Euclid Panthers. Hoping to do it again this week. Randy Tucker at the QB in that shotgun set. A receiver on his right, two on his left. He's going to hand the ball off to number three yet again. Getting close to the 37-yard line. Tay Grochi on the run. Going to be Parker Morrison getting credit for the tackle on that stop by the Cardinals. 4.50 in the third quarter of play. Again, no huddle offense for the Tigers. Really setting up their offense pretty similar to the Cardinals, but definitely not with the same results with all the playmakers the Cardinals have versus Twinsburg at this point as they hand off to number 15. Getting close to the 40-yard line is Jalen Tucker. Also splits time at quarterback as well, but he received that handoff there to sophomore for the Tigers. Moving the ball straight ahead. Third and five. It's going to be a big third down play for the Twinsburg Tigers. Again, Randy Tucker to QB looking to the sideline for the call with the no huddle offense. The shotgun set. One receiver on the right, one on the left. Two running backs. 
perched beside him, fakes the run, finds his man, number 21, Jolien Landridis, with the first down for the Tigers. It's a mouthful saying that last name, but he's made a couple nice plays, number 21, Jolien Landridis, for the Tigers. First and 10, very close to the midfield mark here, but still on the Tigers' side. Going to hand the ball off again, moving straight ahead for the Tigers. Number three again, take Grochi on the run. Adam Williams, number 30 again, sticking his nose in there, getting the tackle for the Cardinals, the senior linebacker. Sucking down and long for the Twinsburg Tigers with coming up on three minutes remaining in the third quarter of play already. No points on the board in this third quarter. This is the same score we had at halftime, 48 for the Cardinals. Nothing for the visiting Tigers. Inside 10 seconds on the play clock. Randy Tucker's gonna have to get this snap off and he gets it. Looking downfield, he's going deep, going long and nearly had his man at the 20 yard line, number 17, Christian Strozier. The senior wide receiver broke free. So Randy Tucker had his man downfield, nearly had a long connection to get into the red zone on the Cardinal side of the field, but it goes as an incomplete pass. Gonna go as a third down and long, third and eight we'll call it, with 2.30 remaining in the third quarter of play. The Tigers getting set up on offense. Two receivers on his left side, one on the right. Number three going in motion, faking the handoff. Randy Tucker looking in the middle of the field, got a receiver with some running room. Number 13, stumbling down to the ground, but the ground causes the fumble again, Sean Smith Probably been the most dangerous weapon for the Tigers offense this night. A couple nice running plays on the game and a nice reception and a run after catch for the Twinsburg playmaker on the Cardinals side of the field. The 39 yard line on the Cardinals side. First and 10 for the Twinsburg Tigers inside. Two minutes to play in the third quarter. Cards up 48 to zip. Twinsburg on the move though. Nice little swing passed out to number 13 again. Sean Smith getting stopped after a couple yards, but he's really the one guy I would think the Cardinals are going to have to key on on defense. The one guy who's been showing any glimmer of success against the Cards. Number 13, Sean Smith. First quarter of play, two rushes for 60 yards and, and getting some positive gains here in the third quarter of play. Coming up on one minute, 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Twin, Twinsburg just trying to get some positive movement and, and something to feel confident against uh, the Cardinals defense here to get some kind of points on the board. No points to this juncture in the game. The quarterback keeper just a few yards straight ahead. Inside one minute to play in the third quarter here. Going to bring up a third down and four, third and short for the Twinsburg Tigers. 44, 44 seconds and counting here in the third quarter of play. Randy Tucker, number four, quarterback's got one receiver spread far out to the right. Gonna hand, fake the handoff, gonna keep it himself, go straight ahead, and looks like he's got that first down. And that coming up on 23 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play. First and 10 for Twinsburg, they've been on the move on this drive here. Inside the 30 yard line on the Cardinal side of the field. 20 seconds and counting in the third quarter. Twinsburg trying to get set up with one more play before this game clock winds down and brings upon the fourth quarter of play inside 10 seconds. Last play of the quarter, hand off to number three, pushing it up to center for a couple yards. Tay Grochi. And that's gonna be the end of the third quarter of play. Again, on the scoreboard, the Cardinals with a big advantage, 48 points on the board. Zero points for the Twinsburg Tigers. Again, pitching a shutout here at home. Cards again, one of the top teams in the state. Just too much to handle for Twinsburg at this point. Trying to make some positives out of this drive though. Coming up short on that incomplete pass, Randy Tucker coming up shy on that pass attempt. Clock running on down. 11.45 remaining in the fourth quarter of play in the game. Third and eight for the Twinsburg Tigers. 
Randy Tucker looking to the sideline for the play call. Two receivers to his right, one on the left. Got his two backs. Got a receiver in motion. It's number 13, Sean Smith. has been doing some damage here, but he dips it down to number three. Tay Grochi for the first down is going to move the chains here. 11-16 remaining in the game. And the Tigers, it took them a while to get going here, but at the tail end of the third quarter and into the fourth quarter here, are moving on this drive. The Cardinals thinking about that shutout, though. I know there's a lot of sentiment on the defense that they want to hold them to no points on the night. Again, the last two times that these teams, two, two teams had uh, tangled here, the Cardinals also shut out the Twinsburg Tigers. Handed off to number 13 as Sean Smith Getting very close to a touchdown score, but going out of bounds just before getting to that pylon on the left side of the field. The junior running back having a pretty solid night overall. The, the one shining star here for the Tigers on this otherwise disappointing trip to the Mentor Stadium here on, on a nice Friday night here at the JTO Stadium. The Cardinals fans have got to be happy for making the trip out here to watch the home team. Big 48-point advantage. Sean Smith going in motion. Fumbled the snap. Cardinals may recover, and they do! The 40, the 50, he could be going to 40, the 30. He's got one defender chasing him, the 20, the 15, the 10, and he stopped at the five-yard line. The big turnover by the Twinsburg. Missed snap there, the fumble recovered by the Cardinal defense. Number 30 has been having a very nice evening here. Adam Williams on the fumble recovery nearly took it for the long touchdown run. Just ran out of gas at the very end as he was caught by the Twinsburg Tigers. But the cards on the offense going to have fantastic field position. Going to be on the six-yard line on the Tigers' side of the field. Primed they're ready to put their first points on the board in the second half of play here. Woke the crowd up a little bit here after that driver looked like Twinsburg was getting close to finally putting some points on the board. Big fumbled snap. And Randy Tucker, the quarterback for the Tigers, just couldn't handle that ball. Recovered by the Cardinals and nearly scored. Manning Trubisky on the quarterback keeper running to his left but not finding much running room, getting stopped. It's going to bring up second down and goal to goal for the Cardinals. Already down to nine and a half minutes remaining in the game in the fourth quarter here. Cards looking to extend that 48 point advantage. 48 to zip over to visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Manning Trubisky, number six in at quarterback. The sophomore quarterback for the Cardinals. And the Cards are gonna get stopped. Looks like it may have been number 28, Isaiah Gullick on the run. For the Cards, the sophomore running back who had a nice second half last week versus the Euclid Panthers. So the Cardinals coming up on the third down and goal to goal with nine minutes remaining in the game from the four yard line. Cards getting set. Manning Trubisky at the helm for the Cards on offense. And he's going to hand it off to number 37 for the Cards. Frank Toth, who gets stuffed shy of the goal line, pushed back. Frank Toth last week, one of those Cardinals getting some playing time in the second half versus the Euclid Panthers when the game was already well in control. Ended up uh, have a, having a scoring run for the Cards last week and was hoping to do it again this week. It's going to be a fourth down and goal to goal, and we know what the Cards do in the red zone on fourth down. They go for it. Manning. Trubisky at the quarterback, number six for the Cards. He's going to give it to number 28, Isaiah Gullick, pounding his way straight ahead for the touchdown for the Cardinals. Number 28, plowing straight ahead after a nice game last week versus Euclid. Going in for a nice touchdown score straight ahead for the sophomore running back for the Cardinals. Putting the lead up to 54 to zip. Cards looking to tack on the extra point attempt. Number 13, Kyle Ulbrich. In the game, the sophomore kicker for the Cards looking to put the cap around his scoring drive. Very nice drive by, or run by Isaiah Gullick after receiving a handoff from Manning Trubisky. 
Isaiah putting the finishing touches and rushing it into the end zone. And again, the Cards coming up shy on an extra point attempt. That was number 13, Kyle Yobrick, but the Cards nonetheless extending that lead out to 54 points over to visiting Twinsburg Tigers with eight minutes, 10 seconds remaining in the game. And that being the first score of the second half of play for the Mentor Cardinals. And this is the most points all season that the Cardinals have put up. Cardinals in the first game of the season put up 48 points versus the Boardman Spartans. Dropped 37 over to St. Ignatius Wildcats in week number two in that big matchup of powerhouses in the Cleveland area. Last week versus Euclid Panthers, they put up 49 points and the Cardinals going, going above all those scoring totals and pushing it to 54 points on the evening here. Eight minutes, 10 seconds remaining in the game. Victory well in sight for the Cardinals. Fans still in the seats though, just enjoying the rest of it here. Enjoying their team that's having a, another excellent start to their season. Under the lights here at Jerome T. Osborne Stadium, Menor, Ohio, the Cardinals 54, Twinsburg Tigers coming into town and getting tamed with zero points. On that last drive for Twinsburg, looked like they were on the move and ready to finally put some points in the scoring column before they had that botched snap that quarterback Randy Tucker couldn't handle and as he uh, tried to even fall on the ball, just couldn't get it under wraps and picked up by number 30, Adam Williams by the Mentor Cardinals who nearly took it the distance. Stopped just shy, ran out of gas at about the five yard line when he was caught by the Twinsburg defender, but Cardinals hitting pay dirt on the offensive possession to follow with the quarterback Manning Trubisky, the sophomore handing off to the fellow sophomore Isaiah Gullick. So a lot of promise on that Cardinals team and getting some good game time experience here at the varsity level for some players here with the big advantage for the Cards. First and 10 for the Twinsburg Tigers. That game clock running with the mercy rule ongoing. Seven and a half minutes remaining in the game. Number 15 with some running room and he's going. Pulled out of bounds just shy of the 40 yard line as Jalen Tucker. Again, he splits time at quarterback as well. On a pretty good run there for the Twinsburg Tigers. Again, the last couple drives on offense for Twinsburg. They're finally getting some momentum and, and some positive yards here as they find themselves on the Cardinals side of the field. First down, 10 yards to go. Seven minutes, eight seconds remaining in the game. Jalen Tucker and a quarterback keeper getting about three to four yards on first down for the Tigers. Number 43, Ryan Bischoff, the sophomore linebacker on the stuff and the stop for the Cardinals. Twinsburg quickly getting set up again with that no huddle offense. Jalen Tucker getting his squad set up here. Two receivers on the right, three on his left. On a Mentor 43 yard line. The young quarterback is gonna be keeping the ball to the 35, to the 30. He's gonna move the chains inside the 30 yard line to about the 28 yard line. 623 remaining in the game. You know the Tigers at this point are just be content to get some points on the board and the sole motivation at this point for the Cardinals is to try to keep that shutout intact. We know Coach Trevisano well on his way to his 151st victory after the big celebration last week with number 150. Next milestone to come is Coach 200, or uh, is, is number 200 for, for Coach Trevisano. May he be here before you know it, the way they're going. Number 15 again, gonna keep it. 43 met him, Ryan Bischoff again bringing him down. Stuffing that run, number 15, Jalen Tucker on that quarterback keeper and really not a whole lot of running room ahead. It's gonna bring up a second down on a loss of, lar uh, loss of yardage situations. 14 yards to go for a first down. Lost those yards by the cards. Five and a half minutes remaining. The game clock keeps ticking away with the mercy rule going on. Jalen Tucker, the sophomore quarterback for Twinsburg with a, a glimpse of the future showing here for them too. 
Three receivers on the right side, two on the left. And again, the quarterback keeper's got a little bit of running room, the 25 to about the 24 yard line on the Cardinal side of the field. Tyler Humbert got in there. Five minutes to play in the game. It's gonna be third down and six for the Tigers. Jalen Tucker getting the offense set up here, looking for the play call from the sideline. Two receivers to his right, three on his right, or three on his left. Five receivers in there. They've been doing a lot of quarterback keepers, but this time he's looking to pass the ball. Nice catch by number six, nearly picked off. Dylan French, the junior wide receiver for the Twinsburg Tigers, and that's gonna move the chains inside the red zone on the Cardinals side of the field. 418 remaining in the game. Cardinals up by 54 points, 54 to zip over the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Jalen Tucker in a quarterback for the Twinsburg Tigers. Getting set, and he's gonna keep the ball. He's got a little bit of running room to the 10 yard line before being taken down by number 56, Nate Horoski, the junior linebacker. Inside four minutes to play in the game though. A little too little, too late for the Tigers, even if they put some points on the board, but I know the defense is motivated to try to keep this shutout intact, but the Twinsburg Tigers are sure looking like they're driving in a position to finally get some points on the board. Let's see if Metter could tighten up here. It's gonna be second down and four for the Tigers. Twinsburg's huddling up for the second down play. Following the timeout, again, there's only a few things that'll stop this game clock with the mercy rule in effect. If a team is up by over 30 points in the second half of play, that clock keeps running on down unless there's a timeout, change of possession, end of the quarter, or if the team on the downside bridges the gap to make the point spread less than 30 points, but it's not gonna happen at this point with 340 remaining in the game. And the Tigers on the handoff for a short yardage gain. Christian Teal on the run, the junior running back for the Tigers. Short yardage, gonna bring up a third down and one yard to go to for the first down. 54 points, and again, 48 of those 54 points being put on the board by the Cardinals in the first half of play alone aided by their running time clock in the second half. Not a whole lot going, just the one touchdown in the second half of play. But the Tigers would be happy with one touchdown at this point and, and hoping to at least end the game with something to hang their hat on as a couple uh, drives here at the tail end of the game, they've been able to move against the Cardinal defense. Third down and one coming up. Last couple drives, the Twinsburg Tigers have had their backup quarterback Jalen Tucker in there as a signal caller to five foot nine sophomore out of Twinsburg. Two receivers on his right, three receivers on his left from his shotgun set. Tucker getting ready here, 15 seconds on the play clock at number 25 in motion, gonna fake the run. He's gonna keep it himself to the five for being brought down by the Cardinals. Number 96 for the Cardinals, that's Max Bufkin. The sophomore defense lineman, Max Bufkin with a nice tackle for the Cards. It is gonna be a first down, however, though, for the Twinsburg Tigers. First down and goal to goal from the five yard line. 250 remaining in the game. 54 point advantage is the Cards to this point, pitching the shutout over to visiting Tigers. Quarterback keeper, and he's running straight in to finally get some points on the board for Twinsburg. Jalen Tucker is the remainder of the Twinsburg crowd is still on hand over here. Giving some appreciation for the effort of their team to finally get on the scoring column here. Six points for the Twinsburg Tigers. Looks like they're setting up for the, going for one point here for the kick. 
to cap the scoring drive for the Twinsburg Tigers. Number eight, Josh Prentice on the kick. It kick is up, and that one is good. So the score now is going to change to 54 for the Mentor Cardinals, seven points for the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Finally in the scoring column here and cracking that shutout string that's been going on the last two games between these two teams. Mentor having shutouts against Twinsburg on both of those occasions, but not tonight, even though the game, as of the first half of play, was well in favor of the Mentor Cardinals. And Cardinals up by 48 points at halftime alone with that running clock in the second half, only mustering up to one touchdown, but still had a lot of margin for error in the second half of play. So in the second half, both teams only scoring one touchdown, but the big advantage obviously on the night was the 48 points that the Cardinals had lit the scoreboard up with in the first half of play. 235 now remaining in the game is Twinsburg following that scoring drive, looking to kick it off to the Mentor Cardinals, who again, getting a chance to use their whole roster this evening after the, the, the big scoring output in the first half. Getting a lot of valuable varsity experience for a lot of these players here as the Cardinals receive the ball from their own 10 yard line. Spinning and not going down, pushing his way up to about the 25 yard line. Logan Shea on the return, a freshman defensive back on the return, good job Logan on that on their return and trying to break free with that spin move before being taken down at the 25 yard line. First and 10 for the Mentor Cardinals with 2.29 remaining in the game. 54 to seven, the cards well out in front here. Looking to give Coach Triv victory number 151 in his long going career at his alma mater. Number 12, We've got a different quarterback in here again for the Cardinals, but a nice run going straight ahead. This appears to be number 28, Isaiah Gullick again, plowing ahead for the first down. First and 10, let's do it again for the Cards. About the 37 yard line on their own side of the field. Number 12 in a quarterback for the, quarter, uh, for the Cardinals here, the freshman Tadas Tatarunas. As Isaiah Gullick again pushing that line of scrimmage straight ahead and getting some good yardage. Getting up to the 46 yard line on the Cardinal side of the field. Actually, I take it back just shy of the 45 yard line on the Cardinal side of the field. Now inside two minutes to play. The Cardinals up 54 to seven. Looking to finish it off here. Some of the underclassmen on the field. Quarterback number 12 on the keeper. Not finding a whole lot of running room. Tadis. Tatarudis, the freshman QB, standing six foot three, 180. Getting in a game here, obviously. Jake Floria leading off the game, the starting QB, the senior signal caller for the Cardinals, having a big game and actually led off the scoring here with that quarterback keeper that he rushed into the end zone. And we saw Manning Trubisky in at quarterback, and now we see the third quarterback of the night for Menor, and again on a quarterback, uh, Tadas. Tadarudas being taken down. A minute to go in the game. A minute one remaining in the game. 54 to seven to cards with the big advantage. Fourth down and seven for the Cardinals and they're gonna go for it. 45 seconds remaining in the game. Incomplete pass is Tadas Tadarudas on the pass at quarterback. Overshot his receiver, and it's going to be a turnover on down. So the Twinsburg Tigers are going to get one more crack at it with 43 seconds remaining in the game. 54 to 7. The cards well out in front. Just waiting a few more seconds to put the finishing touches on victory number four. Try to be four for four in the season here. Remain undefeated. And they get to remain at home for the next two games as well, as they're going to be facing the Brush Arcs next week and then being visited by the Shaker Heights Red Raiders that following Friday. Twinsburg inside, 40 seconds to play here. First and 10, number 19 is back there. Chris, Christian Teal at the running back spot. And again at quarterback, number 15, Jalen Tucker. Down to 25 seconds remaining in the game. Not gonna get a whole lot of 
plays left <clears throat> off at this point. This may be the last one. Quarterback keeper rushing ahead, getting about eight yards straight ahead. Jalen Tucker, he's been doing a nice job since coming into the game, but inside 10 seconds remaining in the game, as that game clock is probably just gonna wind itself down, and yes it does, three, two, one. And the Cardinal faithful cheering on their home team with the big victory tonight. Home game number two on this early going in the season. A big 54 to seven victory over the visiting Twinsburg Tigers. Nice job, Coach Trevisano, victory 151. Cardinals again, gonna be facing the Brush Arcs next week. Pete Stark, Cardinal TV, proud to bring it here to you tonight. Bringing it to you on Cardinal TV, Menor, Ohio, YouTube on our channel or on Time Warner Cable, 96.6 in Menor, Time Warner Cable. And again, ESPNCleveland.com, streaming the games live so you can watch and check out the game. Proud to bring it here again. Glad to bring a big Cardinal victory home, 54-7. to